well, let's check this out. I actually have to go back to uh, the previous critique. It's been a while since we've seen this, so I have to kind of a little bit of a refresher. Um, you are noting that you haven't changed the expressions yet. That's all good, because that's one of the first things. I'm slightly confused. This seems different, though, which is in the right step here, just the beginning, as we talked about. I'm still pretty freaked out. And I'm just still curious, even if you change the expressions, if there's something something acting wise at the beginning that you can do i know it's a lot more work to have her stand look around and then start into a run but it could be something where um you know she's she's kind of <laughs> doing her you know hands forward i'm not don't do this but it's kind of the uh the matrix free your minds type of thing hold on so it's basically something like this obviously don't don't do that but an idea that she's she's getting ready and and she wants to psych herself out it's like all right i want to go i want to go and then she goes into uh her run and now this could be a lot more subtle um you know like in a much cuter way whatever you want to do just to kind of tie in with this moment here that I'm like yeah i did it um i don't know again this is a lot more work but it could be kind of fun to, to give us kind of a setup so it's just more that than just the mechanics jump and then coming out. Um, but again, yeah, it takes a lot more work. Just a thought. So, but still you're mentioning 194 to 201, uh, which is down here. So going back here, I think you could still add a few more frames here. Hang time. Whoop, boom, just a little bit of hang time. So it's a bit more exaggerated. Coming in. And she is coming out here, but it could be, I know I drew like from here to here last time, but I think globally you can still cheat it to be maybe, maybe here. It just it feels more like she comes out. Like technically if she, what's she doing here? If she comes down at like an angle like this, comes out, you know, maybe her coming out is a bit more at an angle. So it's not like, this seems very straight. So you could just kind of, come forward bloom, bloom, and kind of bounce around just again it just it has a very simple feel in terms of straight line drop and then just straight up just some more complexities in just a world orientation i think we talked about when she comes out that she's a bit more oriented this way so it's not straight on that axis again and then you know she can always come back like i said to this orientation through all of this so maybe and that will help you with like this is all very twin so you can have this arm do less and this arm is doing bigger swings which makes her turn more this way there's just some more complexities that you can add for this part you're going to be mostly at this this uh what's the word the height in the water but you know depth in the water that for her to do this like she would have to do a pretty big push down here uh, legs push down to get up this high and then stay this high so i would look at reference to see you know for swimmers or whatever people playing in the water how that exactly works to be honest i can't give you an exact thing what i'm seeing from a technical point of view is that she just floats up for no reason that move back is not really um what's the word i'm escaping today in my uh, english language here uh, <laughs> the mechanics of moving arms back i don't think it's gonna make her go all the way up and stay up here that's pretty difficult also from purely mechanics point of view and technical point of view this is a linear key so if you go back boom you can see the spacing on this here even her head boom this is very clunky because it hits a linear key also she's moving forward for no reason it's not like she goes back and then swings her arms forward which then takes the chest forward and then the whole body goes forward this is now she's magically turning around this is the direction and then she brings her arms back and again she is super high up that's there's no way she can go up this high you would have to i am in the water like you would have to be kind of at arms forward and then really pushing down and back with her arms and then her legs up and then down to get a little bit of of airborne action and then to go into into this so imagine Imagine the water is here, that I would buy. And then you can just curve, make a bigger curve in her chest so that she can 
try to go in like that. Right now, this all feels a bit very magical. Again, it's a linear key there. But just from the mechanics, this feels very magical. And also, visually, uh, your legs kind of pop over one frame. And then this gives you kind of a feel of everything's parented as one piece pivoting off of here, which doesn't quite feel very natural. Again, spacing-wise, your head comes down and bam, hits this invisible wall here. Boom. And then goes up. That feels better. Although this here has a bit of a, me a mechanical and magical feel here where this straight line just starts to rotate and pivoting off of here where she changes direction versus her initiating that by turning her body around, leading with the head, using arm strokes and changes in her legs to motivate this turn. I do like this. I like that. That feels good how she has that leg push and we feel this in the body. But then this acceleration at the end feels too fast given the rhythm and strength of her strokes here. So I would slow that down as well. But you know, you can always just cut out sooner. So a quick cut to uh, looking at stuff online here. Well, that floating aid. Floating Whenever aid you... here. So not that, you know, this is your jump, but there's an interesting complexity and when she gets out of the water. So obviously yours has the uh, legs extended and arms up. But when you come up, if you look at what she's doing here, and here, that complexity of that turn, what the arms are doing, they're all different, they're moving differently. Her body turns around, you know, you know, global wire rotation, that type of thing. See all those little changes? That's what I would think about um, when she comes up. So in your case, if you go back here, through here. So it's not that simple straight up, but there's a bit of a difference in how she, during all of this here, that she could have changes and turns the different arm strokes are different in terms of you know offsets and intensity and and uh, how she pushes herself over um now let's look at this here actually jumping back and also from this this is a good example of how what your uh, the body mechanics of the legs so that your character wouldn't uh wouldn't start to sink so you can see what the legs are doing and what this is uh, how to trade water for beginners beginning swimmers that's the title in there but like that, so that's a pretty good reference. You might argue, well, that's all very twins. Yes, you would have to offset that just for, for uh, you know, a bit more appeal and animation. But just in terms of what the legs are doing, in terms of arcs and everything, I think that would be good reference too. This channel also does a good job here, Swim Life Pro, just in terms of breaking it down different angles, but also showing arcs and everything. Also pretty helpful. So that's, you know, like it's, it's some easy search on a line in terms of um, body mechanics for, for everything. But the question is, you know, how far do you want to go in your complexity? Like how, as do you want to keep this the way it is? Do you want to make it a bit more complex? All that's going to change how you're going to do this. But for this, my main comment would be just keep her pretty much at this level and you have to look at um, reference to see how far out can you go just from my own experience doing this like I like swimming I don't you got to really really push hard and and use your arms to get out and I don't think it will get out this far it would just be it wouldn't be so um, what's the word pivoty off of here I wouldn't get out this far it would just be a lot more subtle where you're in this range and you can see the curvature of your body maybe part of your back will be out the head head and uh head will point down chest will be curling over here and then it's it's more of a dive like this versus such a big move that would be my recommendation for that all right that's about it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you